Hey Canucks fans, welcome to Clay's Canucks Commentary for Monday, May the 20th. I'm Clay Emo, I'm at Connect Clay on Twitter, I'm at Clay Emo on Instagram, I'm the founder of the GLCBC, the Good Looking Canucks Positivity Club, and this is my Canucks take, all in one take. Today I want to talk about Elias Pettersson, and this kind of funny or ironic, whatever word you want to use, one day after I was trying to make my case for why I was more excited for Quinn Hughes, even more excited for Quinn Hughes than Elias Pettersson and Brock Besser when they made their NHL debuts, I was brought out of my seat, or more appropriately, out of my bed this morning by, sounds kind of funny, by a goal that Pedersen scored in the World Hockey Championships. Sweden beat Latvia 5-4. It's a way closer game than I expected, but Sweden did beat La- Latvia 5-4 to this morning. But the highlight for me, and granted, I, I fell asleep again, but when I, I was up to see Elias Pedersen's first period power play goal. What a goal. What a snipe. And before I say anything else, can we please somehow find a way to bring Elias Lindholm and Gabriel Landeskog to the Vancouver Canucks because those three guys together, Lindholm, Landeskog, and Pedersen, they are magic together. They are magic uh, on power play. They are magic, even strength, and given Sweden some really good, um, you know, some good offense during this tournament. But this goal and the aftermath, pretty sick. So typically, Swedish power play, very patient, moved the puck around, and basically went from Lindholm to Land- Landeskog behind the net, and Landeskog out to Pedersen in his office, so to speak, uh, at the faceoff dot. So Pedersen calmly gets the puck and he calmly roofs it right over the goalie's glove, over the top, you know, top right corner of the net, top left hand for the goalie, and bas- basically a space maybe as big as this, and Pedersen found it. So a wonderful snipe with his wrist shot. And then, amazing, he turns around and he looks at the Latvian bench and he doesn't say anything, but he actually gives them the death stare for a good two or three seconds. As his teammates come to, you know, pat him on the head and t- bump gloves and to, and to congratulate him on the goal, Pedersen wouldn't have any of it. He was just looking at the Latvian bench. So the commentators were speculating, you know, did someone say something or did something happen in our previous play? But it was beautiful. The snipe was beautiful, but more, even more impressive was the death stare he gave to the Latvian bench right after scoring the goal. And I kind of joked around on Twitter afterwards saying maybe there's a member of the Canucks media uh, sitting at the bench, and maybe that's why he gave him the stare. But regardless, it got me excited. It reminded me of just how skilled Pedersen is, how much he brought, how much he brought to the Canucks this season, how much he will bring to the Canucks for many seasons to come, especially this season, of course, starting with this season. And then, of course, the attitude, the swagger, whether you call it the cockiness or the confidence, whatever it is, the fact that he turned around and gave Latvia's entire bench the stare was an amazing moment. So it got me excited once again. I know we're still a good few months away from Canucks hockey, but we do have a lot of things to look forward to. We have the draft coming up next month. We have free agency. We have any trades that may happen. And then we have the NHL awards, actually, that happened a couple days before the draft, where Pedersen will likely win the Calder Trophy. Then we have training camp after a long summer. And then we have games again once, uh, once again in October as the Canucks celebrate their 50th season. So a lot to be excited for. And Elias Pedersen will be a big part of that. But for today, just wanted to appreciate... Pedersen snipe and Pedersen stare. Pedersen skill, his speed, all those things. A lot of S words. But today it was his snipe and it was his stare. Got me excited. Got me out of bed. Although I went right back to bed right after that. But still, great way to start my day. Canucks fans, leave a comment below. Love to read what you have to say. React and reply as always. Did you happen to see the goal? Actually, I posted on Twitter. It's got over 2,000 views already because I was so excited. Did you see the goal live? Did you see it in a highlight? Didn't matter where you see, where you saw it. Um... What do you think of it? And very quickly, I actually put a poll up. I know Canucks fans, my polls will always be biased towards Canucks fans, but I said, which goal did you like better? Pedersen's goal today or Tarasenko's sweet snipe on the penalty shot yesterday? Um, you know, it's, right now it's running 70-30 for Pedersen's goal. I actually thought Tarasenko's goal was just as skilled, even had the same small opening to go for over the goalie's glove. So I actually thought Tarasenko's goal was a better shot only by uh, the thinnest of margins, really, we're splitting hairs. But for me, it was Pedersen's death stare that put it over the top for me. And as many of you said on Twitter, it was the icing on the cake. So, Canucks fans, leave a comment below. Tell me about the goal. Tell me if you're excited about Pedersen. Tell me about anything you want. I'll read, react, and reply as always. Subscribe if you like to. Like this video if you like to. If you're in Canada, enjoy the Victoria Day holiday. Actually, is it Canada or is it BC? I should know these things. I've been living here for 44 years. Regardless, if you're in BC, enjoy the Victoria Day holiday and have a great day. God bless and go Canucks go.